Wellington Phoenix. So, uh, Foz, your impressions, uh, particularly about uh, young Lustica, who, who has returned to Australia and is an impressive player. Yeah, I thought last game uh, he played very well and that was his first and in this game I th thought he was even better so he's a, a talent that's been talked about here for some time of course he went over to I think uh, Hajduk Split he was in the Gold Coast youth team I believe under Mulvey and you see here of course he scored but just getting into really good goal scoring positions working off Berisha very well uh, which is a very good skill for um, attacking midfielders getting in behind the line so I think there's a lot to look forward uh, to with him a great opportunity for a Heisegems there and another wonderful opportunity at the far post. So they gave up some, some good chances, did the raw. Mm. <laughs> Ricky Herbert made a great, great uh, quote afterwards. He said, we play a lot of those sites, Melbourne Heart, Newcastle, Perth, Glory, you've got to play all their Melbourne victory. They'll probably fear playing us more than some of the other sides at the moment. Because he said we're on the bottom, we're desperate, mm. all that. After that performance... I'm really not sure, eh? <laughs> and Corey Gamera had a good game as well, so he, he played very well. Yeah, he did. OK, fight. now there's been some dissatisfaction with the coach, uh, Mulvey, who, who uh, was the subject of a fan banner. Uh, he, of course, uh, signed a two-year contract just a few days ago, just a few days before this, uh, this sign went up, Mulvey out, which was, which was torn down by the, by, the, by the club because the, it was an unapproved... Uh, Banner. These are a couple of comments that came in from the fans. Connor McNeish uh, says that uh, uh, really it's been so, a very short period and, and, and really they need to give uh, Mulvey a bit of a chance. Cody Lane is saying that the big difference is that Ange is no longer there for us mm -hmm. and that Brisbane are a very different side today. Well, it's certainly their performance level is nowhere near what it was as the last couple of years. But are they a different side in other ways? apart from the results. I think what he said there is right. You've got mm. some of the key players who aren't playing well. They tried to change the system a little bit at the start of the season. And look, my view is, obviously, Mike Mulvey, congratulations to him, he's now got a two-year mm. deal, right? So, um, you know, let's, let's wish him the best. My personal view is that they should never sack Rado anyway. Mm. Um, he was trying to change the way they played to give them a bit more variation, which I thought was absolutely right. And, uh, and uh, you know, he, I believe he would have grown into it grown into the role more. Mm -hmm. um, they could have uh, mentored him a little bit, a bit better, they could have helped him better uh, and uh, they've ended up in this situation where they're not playing anywhere near as good. They still created some good chances on the weekend. I thought they were, I, I was surprised at how good they were yeah. because I watched their Asian Champions this is League against Phoenix. debacle. Mm. This is against Phoenix. Mm. Well, it was so, against, yeah. but, but, yeah. uh, but, but, but a problem, a problem, a problem. Now, to be fair, that was a Thai team. It wasn't a J-League.